What's going on guys and welcome to a alpha game that is currently released on Steam as of June 26th I believe. I'm probably completely incorrect on that situation. But it is called Frozen State. So this is, just to kind of put this into perspective for you guys, this is kind of like a, uh, a more 3D project zomboid with a really cool art direction with like mutants and uh, really tons of dynamic layers and things going on. As you can see, it says continue. That's because I actually hopped into the game to kind of just get a feel for things and try and not seem so awful at the game. Maybe some of you have played this game, I've heard of this game, or something of that sort, or you're trying to tell me to play this game, but I actually got a key from a developer who just messaged me on my Mrs. Inquiry email. It was just like, here's a key, check it out, do a video if you feel like it, and I'm like, sure. Of course, uh, this is not paid or anything, so everything that I say is personally from me. So let's go ahead and click New Game, and uh, this is a character selection screen, which they plan on uh, adding these two people in the future, which is Stas and Maria. For now, we got to use Ingvar. Each of the characters has its own strengths and weaknesses, which may considerably affect the play style. So this guy is 51 height of 1.97 meters, which is pretty tall. And his occupation is SDNs, which I believe is a military organization because he is an officer. Uh, I don't think he has any buffs or anything yet, but we're going to go ahead and pick him because he's our only choice. So, hint. This is just kind of like a tutorial, kind of when you get close to something, it kind of tells you how to use it. So... Uh, welcome to Dugga 40, which is, I believe, is the the state in which they are in, or country, or peninsula, or whatever the fuck they're doing. Uh, this is an abandoned house, became your temporary house. You've worked well to fortify and protect it from the hybrids and other unwelcome guests. So the hybrids is what the cannibal things are called, and other unwelcome guests. But your supplies have dwindled, and you must go to the city to replenish them. Look over your house to check what's left. It's a good idea to start with your own pockets. Hit tab to open your looch 12, which I believe is just inventory. And if you have enough resources, craft a few campfires, it will definitely come in handy. Don't forget to put some clothes on. The cold outside can kill you quickly. Before you leave your home, take a look at the manual that was downloaded into your looch 12. It will explain the basics you should know to stay alive. Some in-game windows also contain hints and useful tips. Press the icon with the question mark on it to open a hint. Okay, so we just go ahead and we loot around. You can use your cursor to kind of get things going. Hint, campfire. I try to light the campfire. It is very important to understand how it works. There are two ways to set up a campfire. Basically, you just craft one. Uh, you can put it into an equipment slot or you can just right mouse button and place it down. I don't want to have to really read through all that stuff. It's just pretty confusing. Uh, so we can go ahead and kindle the fire right now and get our warmth up, which you can see right here in the top left corner. Uh, this little white dot is just the cursor of the game, so uh, I apologize if I kind of circle something and you can't really see it. But up here you see the little uh, thermometer and you see the person next to it is red. That means I'm very warm. So that's also something. You also have a flashlight, which I don't think I found yet, actually. I should be able to find it somewhere. Loaf of bread, paper, wood, empty bottle. So this stuff is actually different from the first time I played. It's giving me different stuff. Uh, if we press tab, we can go into our inventory, in which we have a bunch of ammo. Uh, we have this, this light survivor's outfit. I, it actually starts you with something different every single time, because I actually started with a pistol last time I played. So that's different. Small caliber ammo, handguns and SMGs. You did, I did start with cyanide last time. I think if I press 1, I should be able to take out the axe. Or is it 2? It is 2, and I can indeed swing that to break down some doors if I want to. Let's go ahead and go in here. Hint, sleep. The night temperature is unpredictable, can drop really low with a blink of an eye. Many people have died in their sleep because of that. Try to find an empty house or a room with broken windows. It will provide with some shelter from the cold. Set up a campfire next to your bed before you have a rest. Do not sleep too long. Okay, that's good to know. Hint, doors. Code lock is good protection from thieves. People often leave hints to recall forgotten passwords. Some hints are more evident than others. Try to look around, maybe you get lucky. However, it does not matter how strong the lock is. If it is mounted on a wooden door, the wooden doors cannot 
withstand an axe. Voice crack. Let's go ahead and loot up these places. Okay, this is actually something you can hide in if there's somebody or uh, something coming by to stalk you. Nothing really in here. A little wardrobe right here that we can loot. It doesn't have anything in it. Probably just storage if you ever wanted to actually stay here for a long amount of time. Pack of buckwheat, which is used in crafting. Kitchen cupboards with nothing in it. Toolbox. Huh. Whole bunch of stuff in there. This changes every time. I actually played this game, like I said, just to kind of figure it out. And uh, it's this house is different than last time I played. It's kind of cool. So that is locked, just like this door. It's probably something we haven't looted yet. That we haven't been in this room. The bed's actually in this room this time. Last time it was... Replace the battery, hold E to take. Okay, we take the radio. I didn't take that last time, actually. And the bed was in here last time. <laughs> Condoms. And that's, it's, I guess it changes every time. That's good to know for you guys. Let's go ahead and warm ourselves up by the fire a little bit more. Let's check out our inventory. We got an old axe. Uh, this is the new stuff that we got. Here's our health, our crafting. Let's see if we can craft any foods. Pack of buckwheat porridge. I don't have any water flasks. Miscellaneous. Build some campfires. I've been... Uh, the instructions told me that I should make some campfires. Uh, because they come in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and make five of those. And as you heard before, these doors are locked. Uh... I think this one is made of wood or metal, but I'm not sure. Just to show you how this works, basically you see this on the wall right here in front of me. 1927. Go ahead and hold E on the door. And we can plug in 1927. And open it up. Yep. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool mechanic. Um, there's nothing really around the house last time I looked around, so we're going to want to leave. And we're going to want to go explore a little bit. As you can see right here, this is your hunger, hydration, temperature, fatigue, everything. So if you ever need to really look at it, there is indicators on the top right corner that will pop up once you start to get really low. And this kind of is just how you transfer from one area to the next, which are called zones. So I walk right here and it will transfer us into a new zone. From what I've seen, the, the loading times are not bad. I am on a solid state drive with this game, so it might change a little bit because of that. A messenger bag, tomato juice, take all. We got a messenger bag. Resource. Uh, maybe items. Uh, do we have flash? A small flashlight we do. We can put that on our gadgets. Small radio. Is that a gadget or an item? That is an item we can put on. Okay. Let's look around. I'm pretty damn scared of these, uh, wanderers or whatever the hell they call them. I should remember from the instructions. Huh. I've never- I didn't go on this direction. So now this is just raw. I don't know anything about this area of the map. I actually went- Oh, that scared me. I actually went in the other direction last time I played. Flashlight doesn't seem to be working. Let's change our direction just so we can see. Oh, oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. So we got kind of, uh, that scared the shit out of me. I can't really, like, tilt my camera in that direction, so I can't really see that. So we're just gonna run away from that situation. That literally made me fucking jump. I've never experienced getting hit by any of those guys yet, so. Double check that we're all good. My cop. It's a dumpster we can hide in. We can loot this car with an old book, wood, and condoms in it. Any condoms are used in some type of crafting. A little broken fence right here. Let's go ahead and head in right here. See if we can loot up this house. Maybe there's a back door. I prefer back doors. Front doors are pretty... wonky. Doesn't even have a door on it. Let's get ourselves in here.
hear something outside. So we're getting kind of thirsty. We got a stove right here, which is a water flask. Awesome. We do get some water flask, which we can drink. Once we our dehydration gets really low. Okay, we want to be careful when we're running around in here. We don't want to come across a a guy staying inside one of these places. This is not multiplayer, by the way. This is single player. So if I say a guy, it might be one of those uh, mutant things that I just got spit on by. I don't think we're bleeding, though. No, bleeding, burns, fractures, we're good. Let's go in here. We got a cupboard with a pack of oatmeal, wood, and light civilian clothing. Let's see the difference. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I guess the other outfit can get worn out, maybe? There is a second floor to this place, which I would like to check out as well. And a basement, maybe? Or it looks like it's kind of snowed in, the basement. Oh, shit. Okay, so he's in here. Oh, okay, that looks like one we can't kill. Let's not, let's not, let's not. I'm getting out of here. I think this is the door. I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's close that. I didn't close it. But we don't want to deal with that thing. That thing just broke down the door, dude. Holy crap, I was looking forward to maybe sleeping in there tonight. I guess we can't. Let's go ahead and just leave. Go to the next area. Maybe there's a, a safer house in this area that we can possibly sleep in for the night. Okay. My guy's getting really cold right now. We need to find a place to sleep in and light a fire. Okay. This place looks... ...somewhat promising. Let's loot it a little bit. See if we can't find anything. So this is kind of like a Project Zomboid with an art direction, like I said. It's very... ...very spooky. I kind of like the feel of it, and I like how... Okay, so this is... ...locked, so it might yield some pretty good stuff behind it if it's locked. Kind of got to check the walls and stuff to see if we can find a, uh... ...some sort of code, maybe. Cupboards, we got packed lunch. Uh, can I not take that? Loot. Lootable objects are highlighted with blue color. Must be okay. You can drag and drop items to lootable object. Okay, so we're actually overweight, but we need to eat and drink. So let's go ahead and um, loaf of bread. We'll use that. Our hunger went all the way up. Okay. Crackers, condom, camp, can mackerel. Water flask. Use. Okay. Temperature and our fatigue. That's just kind of like sleeping. Electronic lockpick. Cancel. Okay. We need to actually clear some of our inventory. Oh, we do have a pistol. Our secondary. Okay. Uh, We're going to want to drop... I'm gonna drop this. Okay. Um, freed up some room. Temp bonus 2.5. Temp bonus 4.6. Defense 5. Defense 1.5. So actually, our light survivor's outfit is much better. So it's kind of got a stat system too, which is cool. So we did have a pistol, like I thought. Uh, can of oatmeal, fatigue, temperature, tooth powder. Drop. Okay. Let's see if we can maybe... No, let's drop that. Let's pick up... I want to pick up this. Okay, we could. Okay. Loaf of bread. All that crackers, 
There we go. Ooh, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, we killed it. We need to find a place to sleep, though. This is getting hard. Let's head upstairs and see if there's a bed. Reload, 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 reload. Whoa. Reload, 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 reload. Come on, I'm probably bleeding and shit now. I wouldn't doubt it. Can we loot this or something? Jacked jumper. Reload. Reload. Goodness gracious. That was difficult. We're freezing, we're dying. I don't know... ...where there's a bed. You go downstairs and break down the doors. But I just need to find a bed. There's no walls here unless it's just not loading in. I literally can't find a bed. This is kind of awful. I don't know how dark this is for you guys either. Eh, maybe the game's not that great, but we'll see. We'll see if you guys want to see more. It's just a more of a first impressions video, like I said. That's usually how we start out these kind of things. Is there a bed up here? Under mask. Gonna want to take that. That's gonna help with our coldness. Soviet uniform. Uh... Let's go to our inventory real quick. And let's put on this Soviet uniform. Definitely much better than what we had. Winter mask. Here we go. We're getting a little bit more buffed out. And... Seems like we really can't find a bed. We're really cold right now, which means we need a place a campfire. So, thank you guys for stopping by today's episode. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to play of this, but please give me your opinions. Check it out on Steam. It is on Steam right now. Uh, it's an early access game, so don't expect too, too much. And I don't usually expect too, too much from early access games. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.